some of us have certainly been here a while we tend to know institutions government is an institution education is an institution municipalities are an institution big businesses are institutions but all of those things are made up of people people of all races and creeds and colors and ages and abilities and that's who we represent so when we fashion our budget, it must be from their perspective. It must be from their perspective. We started out this session, especially those who are brand new to this chamber, with a set of expectations. Yes, we knew that our fiscal condition in this state was in horrific shape. The worst in history. A recession that had left people homeless and jobless and savingsless, had people scared. And we had this great expectation on January 5th that we were going to work together to fix that. Together we were going to work. Because it didn't matter about Republican or Democrat. Our governor said it. There's no Republican ideas or Democratic ideas. There's only good ideas, he said. And there was no one clapping louder than this guy right here in this chair. Our governor said we were going to take a road less traveled. We were going to make different kind of choices. Because he appropriately and correctly said the choices and the path that we had taken up to this point had led us to this point, And it was a wrong path. That's what we heard. Those were the expectations. We had our governor talk to us about shared sacrifice. That these are tough times. And whether it's a family or a business or in our case a state. Together we were going to have to make those tough choices and those sacrifices. He called upon our collective bargaining units throughout this state. And he said, I'm going to have to ask you for sacrifice. He said all those things that raised the expectations for all of us in this state. And then on February 16th, he came out with his vision of the state in the form of his budget. And with all due respect, that's when my expectations were shattered. Because I listened to what our governor said, and then I saw what he did. And today, as has been described by those who have brought out this budget, there isn't much change to what the governor did. There was tinkering, I heard, and small revisions and changes. But the vision that the governor laid out in his budget is the vision that is before us right now. And we are led to believe that there's no other choice. This is it. If we are going to get the state on the right footing, this is the only way we can do it. I want to go back to how we formulate our judgment when we are asked to vote on this budget. We do so by our experiences, by the people we've met, by what we've seen, by our education and our own life experience. And just for a moment, I know each of you are always involved, obviously involved, by virtue of you being here in the community. Many of you grew up in that very community. You now have the privilege to represent. And I'm sure if you close your eyes right now, in your mind's eye, you could see faces of people, men, women, children, young, old, rich, poor, middle class, handicapped, healthy, people you meet every day at the shopping center, the coffee shop, the church, your synagogue, the soccer field. You know them. You know their names. You probably saw them Sunday, maybe yesterday, maybe this morning. Those are the people that have faith in us. 
And they tell us not just by their words, by, by the way they've been forced right now to live. They're hurting right now. They're really hurting. They're good, decent people. They don't ask for much from us. They pay their taxes. They do what they're told. For the most part, they abide by the law. They don't ask for much. And they send us up here to advocate for them, to fight for them. And what they've been telling us and showing us is they just can't afford government anymore. That we're just too big. All these programs we hear, all these programs that are in the thousands of pages of this document, they're good programs. They meant well. Their history traces back maybe 30, 40, 50, 60 years. But we've had program after program, layer upon layer. And unfortunately, we never check to see in many cases if it's worth